Hi folks, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. Uh, it's a Sunday today and I woke up uh, with this message in my inbox. Uh, using SPSS, how would I take a variable like Hispanic, you call yes or no, so it's dummy variable, and a variable like black, I guess that means ethnicity, and combine into one? Would it be recoded into non-white? But I'm dealing with two variables, not one like you did in your tube, YouTube example. Okay, this sounds like uh, a case where uh, we have um, two dummies and you want to create a new set, uh, another dummy from these two dummies. So, my understanding is that we have something like this, two dummy variables, say hisp for Hispanic, coded one if the person is Hispanic, zero otherwise, so this first person, case one, is Hispanic, uh, Christian is a dummy variable, one if Christian, zero otherwise, so this first person is Hispanic and Christian, a second person not Hispanic is Christian and so on. And say you want to create a, a new dummy variable defined as one if the person is both Hispanic and Christian, zero otherwise. How would you do that? Well, manually you can see that the new dummy variable would be for, for this one, Hispanic Christian, so we know it's going to be coded 1. And the next one, not Hispanic, Christian, is not both Hispanic and Christian, so we know it will be coded 0. Next one, it's going to be 1. Next is 0. So you can kind of see that doing it by hand, that it's only going to be 1 if both of these things are 1. Um, now, this is an aside here. This has got decimals, this has got decimals to make this look neater. And it's all it's called D1 for dummy one, and how I get rid of those decimals, set decimals to zero. Decimal places, there you go, looks like this. So this is doing it by hand, but could I have done this kind of quicker? Uh, because, you know, I've only got six cases here, but in real life data I'm going to have several more, so you're not going to do what I've just done by hand, right? Um, well, if you look at it, there's a formula, isn't there? You're simply doing the value of Hispanic times the value of Christian. One times one is one. 0 times 1 is 0, 1 times 1 is and so on. In other words, we can do it the following way. Transform, compute variable, give it a new name, and let's call it D2, because I'm going this time I'm going to do it with um, this uh, calculator, and then I go his, hisp times, type it in by hand or click down, where is it, where's the time, there, and Christian, and then OK. Let's look at it. There you go. So D2, is just, I've not done it by hand, did it using the calculator, and the number is exactly the same as the one I did by hand. That's one way. Another way, I can use, again, go to transform compute variable. Uh, this time, I am going to use, let's call it D3, a logical operator. And it works like this. Um, it's going to be, D3 is going to be coded 1 if it's Hispanic and Christian and, right, so it's a logical operator and, here is the and button, or you could do it by hand again. This is not Hispanic plus Christian, it's completely different. This will return the value of 1 if the case is Hispanic and Christian, 0 otherwise. Here you go. So I've shown you now three ways, one by hand, which you'd never do, um, but that's show you intuitively what's going on. One using the times and one using the logical operator. Um, there's a name given for this type of dummy because you've created a new dummy from two other dummies. This is what we call interaction dummy. And the word interaction has meaning, but I won't go into it here, but there's a reason why it's called interaction. Um, while we're on this, before we finish off, just suppose, in case you have any other questions, let's think about something related to it. Suppose I wanted to create a new dummy variable, which is not AND, but I want to code it 1 if it's Christian or Hispanic. So we use the logical operator here, um, OR, which is um, this vertical slash. So this will code it 1 if Hispanic or Christian. So first one they're both Hispanic so Hispanic and Christian so that let's just let's just delete 
that. Okay, so Hispanic and Christian, so D4 is 1. His, not Hispanic, but Christian, so it's still coded 1. Alright, and so on. In other words, the OR operator here is like just adding. Adding, oh no, no, no not adding actually. No, it's not adding, because <laughs> here you'd get 2. No, the OR operator here will be coded 1 if the person is either Hispanic or Christian or both. Okay, that's OR. Um, and you can use some other logical operators as well. Um, other related ones are not. I don't know whether you ever use not. Uh, where is not? I think it's that one. These symbols are not too clear cut, uh, but you soon know what you're doing once you try one. Um, um, what else? And you can mix them up. You can have or or not, but you know you really want to do something like that. Just complicate things too too much. Um, so if you've created a new set of dummy here, I've described, told you how to create this dummy from another two dummies and what we've done. This topic is about interaction dummies um, and you can stretch this to, here you've got two, we've created a new dummy from two, but you can create a new dummy from three sets of dummies. It could be Hispa um, Hispanic, Christian and you could have gender here as well. But um, the more terms you deal with, the more complex your analysis will be on the coefficients of those new dummies that you create. Alright, so um, I think I've answered that question, hopefully I have. Um, usually I don't answer such questions because obviously my students at college come first, but uh, today was a Sunday and I had time. Okay, well I uh, hope that's been helpful.